I know you know who this man is. It's Joe Rogan. And if you listen to Joe enough, you'll inevitably hear him say that doing hard shit, sorry, paraphrasing, but especially strenuous physical exercise is good for you. And according to Joe, strenuous physical exercise is not only good for the body, but good for the mind and mental health. And Joe Rogan is here dead right. In fact, Joe doesn't even know how right he is. But after watching this video, you'll be able to teach him and all of your gym buddies something really cool about physical exercise and mental health. So let's get into the data. These brand new data from cell metabolism reveal the molecular mechanism by which intense physical exercise is good for mental health and specifically how intense physical exercise alleviates and protects against anxiety. And the star metabolic player in this story is lactate a byproduct produced during intense physical exercise. But here is something you probably did not know about lactate. In addition to being a molecular byproduct and fuel source in its own right, lactate can be used as an intracellular signaling molecule to change the functions of proteins and enzymes within cells. And lactate can be physically attached to proteins in a process called lactylation. And when this lactulation occurs in the brain, it can change brain function and mental state. So the authors of this research paper hypothesized, now quoting, We propose that exercise might modify the protein lactulation pattern within the brain, conferring resilience against stress. So here's what they did to test their hypothesis. They subjected mice to chronic resistance stress which is where you trap mice in a little small space, which promotes anxiety behavior in the mice, as can be assessed with validated behavioral tools, like open field or elevated plus maze testing. Specifics aren't really important for this discussion. However, when the mice were additionally provided with one hour per day to run on a treadmill, this increased lactate levels in the brain, and the anxiety effect was negated. And what's more, when the mice were injected with lactate instead of, not in addition to, but instead of exercise, anxiety was still blocked. And furthermore, when the researchers blocked lactate production during exercise, the anti-anxiety effects of exercise themselves were reduced. So this is all consistent with a hypothesis that lactate is mediating the anti-anxiety effects of exercise. But the next big question is what protein is being targeted, is being modified by lactate to mediate the anti-anxiety effects of exercise. And the researchers discovered it was a protein called SNAP91. Lactate tagging or lactylation of SNAP91 was decreased by chronic psychological stress and increased by exercise, which reveals a molecular push and pull whereby exercise offsets the metabolic signature of chronic psychological life stress. So take a look at this here, because this is beautiful. This shows the healthy state of SNAP91 in the medial prefrontal cortex of the brain, in the top row, where yellow is lactate tagged or lactulated SNAP91. In the middle row shows what happens under chronic psychological stress. You can see a massive downshift in SNAP91 lactate tagging. But what happens when you add exercise to the mix, when you add exercise to chronic psychological stress? As you can see, the effects of chronic psychological stress are reversed. The yellow comes back. It's amazing. Now, if you're smart and curious, and I know you are, you're probably wondering about what SNAP91 does. SNAP91 is important in assembling vesicles and helping to maintain the healthy release of neurotransmitters and overall healthy synaptic function. So basically, SNAP91 is important in maintaining healthy signaling among neuronal networks. And the modification of SNAP91 has functional implications too, as chronic stress leads to decreased lactulation of SNAP91 and decreased markers of neuronal transmission and function, which is reversed by exercise. Finally, to really hammer home the point that intense physical exercise increases lactate in the brain to increase SNAP91 lactate tagging and change neuron function to reduce anxiety, the researchers tweaked 
The SNAP91 protein in mice, specifically at the amino acid where lactate likes to attach, just there and nowhere else. And even this tiny molecular tweak abolished the anti-anxiety effects of exercise and the associated metabolic and functional changes induced by exercise. And all this helps to cement the causal cascade whereby intense physical exercise increases lactate in the brain to increase SNAP91 lactate tagging and change neuronal function to reduce anxiety. Isn't that cool? Now, returning to the unexpected wisdom of Joe Rogan, who values hard physical labor for both physical and mental health, I want to reinforce the practical key takeaway from this paper. Lactate, it's a marker to reflect the intensity of exercise. More hard, intense work means more lactate. And lactate is the molecular mediator of the anti-anxiety effects of exercise. Thus, there's actually serious science behind the idea that high-intensity work, that work that leaves you feeling like you're about to die, can have anti-anxiety pro-mental health effects, not just through habituation and psychology, but through hardcore metabolic science. So the next time you're working your butt off doing hill sprints or muscle ups or burpees or jumping alternating lunges or whatever makes you feel like you're about to die, think about the fact that the lactate that's building up in your body and your brain is affecting molecular changes that will make you more resilient to stress. That's pretty badass.